Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new tutorial series on PyQt5 in Python. Now, PyQt is a application or a framework, sorry, for Python that allows you to build GUI applications very quickly. Now, what I'm showing you right here actually is the main kind of interface that you're going to be able to use. It's called QT Designer to create your graphical user interfaces. Now, let me show you how easy this is compared to some other things that you might have tried to use before. So, for example, say I'm creating a GUI, I want to have a label. I drag in the label. I want to throw a button somewhere. Well, we'll find a button. There we go. Maybe we want some check boxes. We want them to be here. Let's throw them in, right? I'm just showing you how easy and how quickly you can actually design and create a graphical user interface. And you don't have to go back and forth from code and modify the positions and change all of that. And this is just something that's super simple and it makes your life way easier, especially if you're trying to create some kind of simpler applications and you don't want to spend a lot of time messing with the graphical user interface part of it. You just kind of want things to work and you know sometimes it's really nice to be able to just come into a designer drag and drop it and see exactly what it looks like without having to keep running the code and all of that so anyways that was just kind of a little bit of a tease on what we're going to be getting into in this series and we're going to be learning how to use that properly and how that actually works but in today's video we're just going to be setting up pyqt5 and creating a very basic application by just writing a little bit of code so what that designer actually does is it generates a bunch of code for us and you pretty much just take that code and use it. So you kind of drag and drop stuff. It says this is the code that you would need to create that. Then you can use that code. So anyways, what we're going to do now is we need to install and get that tool, that QT designer from PyQt. So we're going to open up a command prompt and we're going to be using pip to install this. Now, if for some reason, when you type pip in here and you hit enter, it doesn't work. That means Python and pip are not installed in your system's path. So to fix this, I'm going to direct you to a video I have in the top right hand corner of my screen. It's called how to install Pygame, but it shows you how to fix your pip if it's not working. So if your pip is working, what we're going to do is type pip install and then pyqt5. Um, don't install 4 as that is the one for Python 2.7 and we're going to be using Python 3. Next, we're going to do pip install pyqt5 hyphen tools. Now this is going to give us that QT designer and a few other tools that we might want to use later on with PyQt. Once we're done that, um, we're actually ready to start writing some code and pop up our first main window. So let's close that and let's get into some kind of uh, text editor here. So I'm just going to be using sublime text. Now quickly before I go on, something I forgot about PyQt is it is actually cross compatible and cross platform, which means that any code you write here will actually work on Mac, it'll work on Linux, It'll work on iOS, it'll work on Android. Now, I'm probably not going to be showing you how to package this up for all those different OSs, but it's nice to know that your code will actually scale and work for any OS that you want it to. Anyways, what we're going to do now is just type a few import statements here. Uh, so we're actually going to start with from pyqt5, make sure to capitalize that P in the Q. We're going to import and to start uh, qt widgets like that. Now next we're going to say from pyqt5.qt widgets like that. We're going to import q application q main window and finally we're going to import q actually I think that's actually all we need for that one. Yep. And the last import statement is SYS. So that's all we need to import for right now. Later on, we'll probably be importing some more things up here from PyQt, but to create a basic application, that's all we need. So when we're working with PyQt, the first thing we need to do when we're creating an app or creating a GUI or whatever it is, is to find an application. So what we're going to do is create a function that's going to do this for us. And we'll just run that function at the end of our code. So I'm going to call this function window. And inside of here, what I'm going to do is just say app, and that's going to be equal to Q application. Now, this is where we always have to start off some kind of application. And what we need to do is we need to pass sys.argv inside of here. Now, I believe what this is doing, and I could be incorrect, is just giving some kind of config setup for a queue application. So it knows what OS it's running on, kind of how to display the window, because based on what OS you're running, um, there's going to be some differences, right? So that's kind of what this is doing, just getting our application set up. You don't have to worry about it too much. The next thing we need to do is create some kind of window or some kind of widget that we're actually going to th show in our application. So in my case, I'm going to use Q main window, but you may see some people in tutorials using Q widget. 
Uh, it's kind of similar, but we're just going to use Q main window. So what I'm going to do here is say um, win equals in this case Q main window like that. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is actually set the size and title of our window. So if we want to set the size of our window and actually the position of it on the screen, what we need to do is call a method called set geometry. So we're going to say geo geometry. I think I spelled that correctly. And then inside of here, what we're going to do is give four arguments. The first one is going to be the X position. The next one is going to be the Y position. And the last two are going to be the width and the height. Now, the X position actually stands for where on your screen you want it to show up. So if I put this to zero and I put my Y position to zero, what's actually going to happen is our window is going to show up in the top left hand corner of your screen. Now, if you set this to, let's say, 1920 by 1080, it's going to show up in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and you actually won't be able to see it. Now, let me just quickly illustrate how this actually works so that any of you that don't understand this coordinate system kind of can get this pretty quickly. So this right here is actually in computers, typically when we're doing graphics, is actually 0, 0. Now, excuse me because I'm drawing with my mouse, so this is kind of difficult to do. Um, so what happens is when we say something like 100, 100, we're going to go 100 pixels this way, and then we're going to go 100 pixels down. Now, since we're starting with the top left hand corner, what that means is this window will now be moved. Uh, oops, I don't know how that happened. Um, so it looks more something like that. So we're going to move the top left hand corner of the window to be at position 100, 100. And that's going to go for all of our widgets as well. Let's say we place a widget inside of our window at maybe like 50, 50. Well, the top left hand corner of that widget will be at 50, 50 which is something that's important you're going to have to account for when we're kind of moving and placing things. So hopefully that makes a bit of sense. So anyways, I'm just going to set mine arbitrarily to be like 200, 200. And then for a width and a height, let's go with uh, 300, 300. Awesome. So now that we've done that, we're going to set a window title. Now this is what's going to show up on the top little bar. You can see like up here, this is what the window title is kind of for my subline text. Um, similar thing here for the PyQT. So we're going to say win.set a window title like that. And then here you name it whatever you want. So in this case, I'm just going to say like tech with Tim, which is the name of my channel. And now what I'm going to do is actually put some stuff inside of our window. Now, before I do that, I want to show you what this looks like so you can get an idea and then we'll start adding some things. So to actually show our window, we need to call window dot show. And after that, we need to write this one line that looks a little bit confusing, but essentially what it's going to do is make sure that our window shows up nicely and will exit when we click the X button. You don't have to read too far into it, but it just means that we get what's known as a clean exit. So I'm going to do sys.exit app.exe underscore like that. Now, again, this just means uh, we're waiting for this queue application to exit. And when that happens, then we're going to exit and close the application. So let's run this program now. Um, oops, I got to actually call this function if we want anything to show up. So let's do that at the bottom of our program. And you can see we get tech with Tim, we get a window that let me run again that initially showed up at what I say 200 200 with height and width 300 300. Now if I change this again to be like 1000, you can see that now the window is showing up further. So it's actually useful and you can pick kind of where you want it to show up. So anyways, this is kind of boring, we need to add some stuff into our window and look at it. So what I'm going to do is actually just create a label and throw that label on our window and then we're going to end the tutorial there. So if I want to create a label, what I'm going to do is say label equals in this case, QT widgets dot Q label. I hope you guys are noticing that everything kind of starts with Q here. And inside of this, what we're actually going to do is say where we want this label to be a little bit confusing because sometimes people want to put what's on the label. But what we're going to do is set window because that's where it's going to be showing up. Next, we're going to say label dot set text. And this is where we can change what it actually says. So in this case, we'll just say my first label like that. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can move the label uh, if we'd like to do that. So to move it, we can do label dot move. And with move, this will just take an X, Y position and we'll move it there. So let's say we want to do 50, 50. Remember, that's from the top left hand corner. So down 50 um, to the right 50. And that's where the top left hand corner of our widget will be. So let's run this and see what we get. And we get my first label positioned at 50, 50. Again, you can see it's that top left hand corner. 
and that's inside of our main Qt window. So anyways, that has been the basics of setting up PyQt, getting a very basic window going here. I just showed you the label widget. In the next videos, we'll go in uh, more depth. We'll do a few other different things with this. And then very shortly, we'll get into the actual Qt designer, um, talk about how that works and how to use the code that it generates in our actual uh, application here. We're going to start kind of basic um, and just build our way up. And if you guys have any recommendations of stuff you'd like to see, definitely leave it in the comments down below. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.